Hello and welcome back to my self build journey with me, Harry Van Gorkum. Um, this episode we're going to cover very quickly, um, probably not that quickly because I'll waffle on, but as quickly as I can, the electrical drawing layout for your house. Now, Dan Wood, um, in the stages they do before you do the final plans of everything, you've got to plan where you put all your sockets, all your switches, all your lights, anything that's electrical. Now they give you, which is really helpful, a pre-laid out plan like this one, which shows you where they suggest you put all your lights, fittings, plugs, sockets, data points, TV points, etc. It's for ground floor and for the first floor. And they also give you a key sheet which is lists what each diagram is on the uh, plan they give you, what it's called, and also if you were to add it, how much it would cost you. So they give you a lot of sockets, they give you a lot of electrical points, they give you a lamp and the light in every room. Um, so the standard stuff is totally usable. What you want to do with the plan is if you do want to add anything, you do it now of course, but also if you want to move those sockets around from room to room. If you have too many sockets in one room, for example, electrical outlets, and you don't and you want more in another room, then you can move those around. It's really important when you're doing this to think about your interior design at this point. Where are you going to put your sofa? Where are you going to put your bed? Where are you going to put your furniture in your house? Because that's where you're going to want those light sockets in the wall or those switches, or even where you put the thermostat on the wall, because if it's in the hallway and you want to, want to put a big cupboard in the hallway there, then the thermostat can't go there. So you've got to think about your interior design at this point when you're doing your electrical drawing layout. Televisions and data points. Now Dan would give you one television and a data point, usually in the living room area, um, and they pick a wall where they think you'd put the television. You've got to decide where you're going to put your television now because that's where the TV data point is going to go. If you want to add another television point, it's basically 200 pounds to add another television or data point. Now, one little tip here is that with new um, satellite services here, for example, with Sky, you have a Sky Q control box and you can run up to four televisions in the house off that one box. So you don't necessarily need to have a TV point or a data point. It's all done wirelessly through the, through the Sky TV system. So look at your television provider and see if they have something similar to save you spending £200 to maybe put a television point in the uh, den or study, to put a television point upstairs in any of the bedrooms. Another point to look at is your kitchen layout. Check and double check. Because you've given them the kitchen layout already, double check that they have put the points in the right place for the fridge, for the cooker, for the dishwasher, for the, um, for the extractor fan, for the hob, etc. Make sure they're all in the right place. And also, again in your kitchen, planning your layout of your kitchen, thinking about where you're going to plug in your kettle, your mixer, whatever it is, toaster, so you have those single or double kitchen sockets on the wall in the kitchen in the right place. Um, Dan would only give you two outside lights, for example, one in the front door and one at the back of the house. So if you want to add more outside outdoor lights, now is the time to think about where you want to put those. As far as roof lights go, they give you one light in each room and they position it. Now again, look at the positioning of that bit. Otherwise it's basically in the centre of the room. Again, think about the light in the hallway on the stairwell. Do you want the stairwell light coming straight down the stairwell or somewhere else? The good thing again about Downwood is I'm going in tomorrow to sit down with my agents to go through all my final... Um, interior design choices um, and during that process we also go through the electrical plan together to work out any move, anything I'm moving, anything I'm adding, anything I'm changing on the electrical plan. Uh, summarizing my advice, really look, at the, really look at the plan, think about your interior design, plan where you're going to put furniture now so you can put the plugs in the right place. Think about moving plugs around as opposed to adding plugs. If you have too many in one room, you can move them to another room. Think about your TV choices. Think about your light choices. And that's about it. Anyway, good luck. Hope it's all going well for you. Um, see you on the next one.